So Gearbox on the Borderlands on Twitter just tweeted out, since our April 30th update to Mayhem Mod, we've received a ton of feedback from players. In this developer update, which we will get into in a second people, we want to give the greater community an idea of how we will be addressing the concerns we've seen thus far. And today guys, we check out this developer update. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So they go on to talk about in this developer update, many, many changes, many fine tunes, scaling and so much more. So let's just go through the whole thing. On April 30th, we released an update to Mayhem Mode in Borderlands 3. Since then, we've received a ton of feedback about the changes made in that patch. We want to give the greater community an idea of how we will be addressing the community concerns we've seen thus far. Our intention for Mayhem 2.0 was to provide a significant difficulty for those looking to create and test their most powerful Vault Hunter builds, while also providing everyone a more engaging, dynamic and fun end game. Players experience Mayhem levels as a slider so they can move up and down between difficulties. Also by incorporating the combinations of modifiers, you can find the level you enjoy most. Did you get that perfect roll on that piece of gear? Then move that slider up and put your new gear to the test. Or do you need a night off and just want to blow stuff up? Move the slider down and enjoy the mayhem. That said, we built Mayhem 2.0 with longevity in mind. We don't expect everyone to slip into Mayhem 10 immediately. As we introduce more content levels and gear into the game, more people might find themselves comfortable at that level over time. Concerns over Mayhem difficulty, gear balancing, scale damage sources and build diversity are among the concerns we've heard most often. We'll address these and more over two phases and roll them out in the next two patches. This is to ensure that the changes match our expectations in testing before you experience them. There are always unforeseen challenges when working on patches and hotfixes, so we will keep players posted on more concrete release timings as these updates continue to progress. Here's a look at some of the things we'll implement. Phase 1 Stat Scaling and Gear Phase 1 focuses on the feedback we've received about Mayhem levels, stat scaling and gear changes. We'll make these changes at the same time to complement each other. With the upcoming Guardian themed takedown, we will lower the health, armor and shield stat bonuses that enemies receive in the higher levels of Mayhem. We'll also adjust over and underperforming gear so that more gear is viable and balanced with the new lower stat bonuses found in Mayhem 7 and above. Certain underperforming anointments will also see a buff with this change. The phase will also introduce a way to see which Mayhem level your weapons and gear came from in the item card. You'll see a line that reads Mayhem Level and the corresponding number for the Mayhem Level where it dropped. You'll see this text in the same area where anointment descriptions are. This is actually a massive, massive deal to many, many people, including myself. I mean, I'm farming Mayhem 10 now, even though Loot Drop seem a shambles, but I just don't know what is Mayhem 10 and what isn't. So, this is a great, great addition. Phase 2 Character Balancing and Build Diversity. Phase 2 focuses on feedback concerning character balance and build diversity. The goal of this phase is to give players the ability to create viable builds using their Vault Hunter's signature action skills that simply didn't deliver enough power in the past. We are building a foundation from which the community can create new builds centered around gear or action skills. In this phase, we will scale non-weapon sources of damage with Mayhem scales. This will scale action skill damage including pets and iron bear, melee, slam, slide damage and vehicle damage. Grenade mods will now also drop as pieces of Mayhem gear and have bonus damage for each level of Mayhem, just like Mayhem weapons. I am so glad they fixed that people, I really am. To give your action skill a bigger boost, we also will add skill damage to class mods in this phase. So that's pretty cool. These class mods will introduce power bonuses to action skills that will help with new builds and achieve the goal of letting you choose how you want to play your characters. We know the community will find the builds that do the most damage, but we anticipate a greater amount of builds made and played for fun after we make these changes. Additionally, we will look at all anointments to enable a more even playing field between them all. There's also the concern that chests and vending machines in Mayhem mode do not currently spawn gear for that level of Mayhem. 
This will be corrected in the second phase. As it currently stands, we don't have the ability to change it right this moment. We are in the process of creating the data for this new functionality to work and we'll need time to test it along with all other changes. Performance and stability. We we'll continue to prioritize game performance and stability. Our first step is identify mayhem modifiers that players reported as causing the most issues, then removing them via hotfixes until a later date. Since then, the reports of stability issues have significantly decreased. The changes that we'll make in these two phases will contain various mayhem mode optimizations and restore previously disabled modifiers and quality of life changes. Unrelated to Mayhem mode, we're testing some quality of life enhancements. Fight for Your Life will receive improvements via highlighted on a previous Borderlands show. Coming in the next patch, a player's movement will slow while they are being revived, and the interactive radius around a down player will increase to prevent them from accidentally running away from their saviors. We also will implement a particle system to indicate more clearly when a player is being revived along with the new functionality that multiple players will be able to speed up the reviving process by all coming to a downed player's aid. Common feedback we've received is for named enemies to have their own drops. We are looking at making those changes and spreading out the loot pool in a future patch. We will coincide this with an increase to the drop rate for dedicated loot. So that's a good change but it just depends when they implement it people. We want to ensure players have a use for all the iridium they've collected throughout the galaxy. The veteran rewards machine will receive a shipment of mission specific rewards that players can redeem once a side mission ends. In addition, you'll have a good reason to pull out that iridium fabricator, dust it off and start shooting at weapons with your gun. We are considering ways to increase the rate of legendaries that the iridium fabricator can shoot out at the expense of more iridium each trigger pull. I do like that change though with the veteran rewards, receiving a shipment of mission specific rewards that's pretty cool, but there are legendary mission specific rewards like the 7th sense. Does this mean they will incorporate these mission rewards or will it just be epic mission rewards? We don't know this yet. Okay, so the future. Community feedback is vital to us. Thank you for letting us know what you like and where we can improve. We read and see all the messages. Consider all the above just another step in our continual commitment to you and the quality of life improvements we're bringing to Borderlands 3. We're excited to share even more planned changes and glimpses of all the new content still to come. And that is it guys. Now they don't mention anything about Mayhem 10 loot drops here in a significant way. But we still have the hotfix that normally comes every Thursday which will be tomorrow, the 14th of May. But all in all this dev update seems pretty good. I do like some of the quality of life changes they are incorporating in the future. But for me, the most important thing right now is the fixes to Mayhem 2.0 loot drops. I mean it's just an utter disgrace at the minute. And I'm hoping tomorrow in the hotfix we'll see further improvements. And yeah guys, tell me what you think about some of these changes down below in that comment section. To me the most important incorporation they talk about is definitely the weapon tag added to Mayhem leveled gear. I mean this is super important to many many people as we just want to know where our drops have come from. If we farm for that perfect weapon, we need to know it's a Mayhem 10 scaled weapon and these tags will just do that. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.